Fine. I'll help you do the damn dishes. Oh, come on. You know what? No. That's, see, that's not what I want. You just said that you want me to help you do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. Why would I want to do dishes? Why? See, that's my whole point. Let me see if I'm following this, okay? Are you telling me that you're upset because I don't have a strong desire to clean dishes? No, I'm upset because you don't have a strong desire to offer to do the dishes. I just did. After I asked you. Jesus, Brooke, you're acting crazy again. Don't you call me crazy. I am not crazy. I didn't I call you crazy. Just I didn't did. call you crazy. No, I didn't. I said you're acting crazy. You know what, Gary? I asked you to do one thing today, one very simple thing, to bring me 12 lemons, and you brought me three. God damn it. If I knew that it was going to be this much trouble, I would have brought home 24 lemons. Even 100 lemons. You know what I wish? I wish everyone that was at that goddamn table had their own little private bag of lemons. Gary, it's not that. about the lemons. Well, that's all you're talking about. I'm just saying it's, it'd be nice if you did things that I asked. It would be even nicer if you did things without me having to ask you. Well, I do seem to remember doing something for you this morning without you asking. Gary, come on. But, I'm you know serious. what? No, Come I'm here. serious. I, am too. I really am. Come on, you knew I was working today and I made that meal, and you could have thought to yourself, you know, you could have said, you know, I, I'm not, I think I'm going to get Brooke some flowers. You said on our very first date that you don't like flowers, that they're a waste of money. Every girl likes flowers, Gary. You say that you don't like flowers. I'm supposed to take that to mean that you do like flowers? No, this is not about, you're not, you're not, you're, you're, that you're not getting it. You're not getting this, Gary. Okay, it's not about the lemons. It's not about the flowers. It's not about the dishes. It's just, um, how many times do I have to drop hints about the ballet? You know I can't stay. Brooke, come here. We talked about the damn ballet. I hate the goddamn ballet. You got a bunch of dudes in tights flopping around for three hours. It's like a medieval techno show. It's a nightmare. I sit there in a sweat. The whole thing, I do. I'm wondering when the hell's the goddamn nightmare gonna end? Go to a damn ballet. It's not about you loving the ballet, Gary. It's about the person that you love loves the ballet and you want to spend time with that person. Not when they're at the ballet. Okay, forget the ballet. I... Forget the ballet. We don't go anywhere together. We just went to Ann Arbor together. To Ann Arbor? To the Michigan Notre Dame game. You said... <laughs> You think screaming drunk kids and leprechauns doing backflips, that's fun. That's fun for me. Come on, man. I did that for you. What do you, how do you show up for me? I'm up on the bus every goddamn day Come for you. Come on. You... I'm busting my ass to be the best tour guide in the damn city so I can make enough money to support both of us and hopefully you won't have to work one day. I want to work. All I ask, Brooke, is that you show a little bit of appreciation that I just get 20 minutes to relax when I come home instead of being attacked with questions and nag the whole damn thing. You think that I nag you? That's all you do. All you do is nag me. The bathroom's a mess. Your belt doesn't match. Hey, Gary, you should probably go work out. Nothing I ever do is ever good enough. I just want to be left the hell alone. Really? Is that what you want, Gary? Is that what you want? Yeah. That's what you want? Yeah. Fine, great, do whatever the hell you want. You leave your socks all over this house, dress like a pig, play your stupid ass video game. I don't care, I'm done. What? I am done. I don't deserve this. I really do not deserve this. I deserve somebody who gives a shit. I'm not spending one more second of this life with some inconsiderate prick. You're a prick.